Hi everyone, this is Skylo and Mia. Welcome to this video. I'm here with Tripio and in this video I would like to show you the uh, next part of my Star Wars plush collection will be, uh, which will be about droids. Now the very first one that I have here is Tripio, but I ju just have one Tripio. Um, so that's why I use it for the video now. In fact, I found another one, a sitting up one like this. And he was, he resembled this guy, but he was less shiny. But actually I have been quitting on collecting some characters depends on how much he impressed me so I left that one also because I'm actually really watching my money these days so um, yeah I'm very happy with this Tribio and uh, in fact I'm not really very a fan of the character so I won't collect too much of him but this is just a little 10 inch plush that has been released also the second one was a bit more uh, yeah I gave that one to my nephew it was a bit smaller and he has all his wires here, that's really funny. Yeah, so, and he has, here's C-3PO. A little posh pause plush of him. And actually I had the, the R2, the R2's one, the small one, and the middle-sized one, but I uh, also, I also got rid of those. Um, now one of my R2's that I can show you is this little guy which I got from Italy. I got quite a lot from Italy, actually, so... Um, this is him, and he has nice, nice coloring on his back, which is quite true to the character. But he has, like, um, an uh, Easter-shaped uh, body, which I don't really like, to be honest. But yeah, he's still really cute, very funny. My large BBH just fell. No matter. <laughs> right on time to see the C-3PO sucking his thumb. <laughs> really cute. There aren't those fingers just sweet. <laughs> he has really little fingers. Yeah, sorry about my camera. She's really annoying. Uh, this is what uh, R2 looks like that I just showed. So yeah. Um, yeah, you guys are friends. We know, we know. Stay together. Um, yeah, maybe I can just show you my Gogolo pals here. I have been collecting a Gogolo pal Darth Vader, but these are the only, um, the other ones that I found. This is an R2 and he glows up in blue. Um, and he has, he's actually quite detailed. Um, he also has a loom bent. Oh my god, look how, bro how, how broken it is. And this is the back. So he doesn't have that, that colory stripe that makes him look so real. Um, but he's a, a good middle-sized plush, which has a quite broad body. It's pretty. And the, the other one that I made, that they made, is BB-8. And he is just gorgeous. He has like a goggle on him. So in fact, he's like the real droid. Um, he glows up in white. And he has like little antennas here. And actually, he looks quite true to the character with nice proportions as well. So actually, I'm very impressed by this guy. As soon as I saw him, I took him with me. I well, I must say, I think BB-8 is definitely my favorite droid. Um, I liked R2 as well, but BB-8 is just so he is like R2, but really cute. And um, yeah, as soon as I see BB-8, sometimes I just I think it's about the orange circles on him. For some reason, I'm kind of in love with how he looks. <laughs> so this is my BB-8 Goglo Bell. I'm gonna show you more of BB-8. I have a few others right behind me. Um, but these are my Disney store, Astromex. Now I got these guys together. Uh, the very first one is R2. And he is just gorgeous looking. Um, he is very detailed and also the way he stands up. Most people just design him standing like this, which make him look, look a bit like a dustbin. Well, now he looks more like in movement and actually like, like he does move forward, which is really impressive. Um, he's really cuddly and he is nice fabric too. Uh, he doesn't look like an Easter egg, like some really do. And he has little cardboards in his um, legs. I'm really impressed by this guy. This is, I think this is my most pretty R2 unit that I have. Um, the sad thing is that he's so small, 
I wish they had made a larger one of him because that would be just so awesome. And he has a nice feature, he can just turn his head, but because of my bed, there you go. Wow. That was more like BBA though. Um, I can't really make, really make the whistle noises that R2 make. And here is Chopper, and he has like less stuffing in his legs, but he also has like little cardboards and a wheel. Of course, he's more old looking. But that is just how he is. And you can also turn his head like... See? So. Yeah, they went so well together. I got both of them together. Um, sometimes their, their head is a bit deformed, but still um, they're greatly detailed. And in best case, you can just get used to the little um, deformed parts they sometimes have. So yeah, this is, this is Chopper. I always put these guys together for some reason. Now maybe I can show you some more BB-8s now. Yes, but you already had your your turn. Um, now this guy is a little one that I just found not so long ago. But I had another one like this, which is entirely similar. The reason he wears a little bracelet around him. Yeah, I, I really fell in love with this guy, so when I saw this one for five bucks, I just had to have him. <laughs> and maybe I can just sell him if I don't want him anymore. So yeah, I paid more for this guy. I had him together with a small Dead Star plush. I was really impressed by finding them. Finding these plush is kind of hard, I must say, so of course I grabbed the opportunity. He has like a little red spot in his eye, which makes him look really true to the character, I must say. Also the size of its head compared with the size of his body and the way it's attached to it, well, looks really true to the character. And he has nice embroidered details on him, so yeah. And he also comes with batteries, you can change his batteries. Oh! This guy doesn't work anymore. That's the problem with those plush, but you can always replace the batteries and see what it makes. Actually, I don't really like the noises he makes. The sounds don't really sound like BB-8. Yeah, it's kind of a weird sound. It's like a, it's like a broken BB-8. Anyway, these guys are like together. There's one I got with the Dead Star. There's another one that I got with Kylo, so... Um, maybe I can show you my Disney Store BB-8s now. I was really impressed by these guys, but I still have to bring him in my frame there they are so this is the first one this is a middle sized one i just got him off online um he was a really nice plush and i just love the round shape he has really well made so of course yeah a bb8 character plush manufactured with the details from the disney store is just an awesome combination so yeah this is my disney store bb8 um yeah, looks like I removed his tag. It's nice the fabric they use. Make them look a bit like metal. Um, it's like they are really made in some kind of a metal material. I think my camera is failing again. So actually it's just gorgeous looking. Um, I'm really uh, impressed by how he looks. But this guy was, of course, another uh, piece of cake. Now, of course, yeah, he li he's like from the Disney store as well. He has like um, another rotating head, just like the other one. He's also really round. And yeah, I think they really did a good job on him. Um, he has like adorable antennas. I had the Posh Paws BB-8 as well, but I got rid of him because he wasn't so pretty. And I came across this guy in Barcelona, so we traveled by airplane just afterwards. And uh, well, it must, must have been a bad idea for me to to take him with me. But and here's this character tag with Kylo. I should have known better, but after all, I was really happy I could actually get him there. And it was the last one as well. Mmm, round like my belly. 
really impressive. I think so, yeah. There you go. So this is my largest BB-8 and actually I put him over there. I passed on the Jack Pacific figures, but I couldn't pass on these guys. So I really love my BB-8. He looks really true to the character also in this size. So yeah, he makes a nice decoration, nice ornament. Also just for under Christmas tree, for example. He's just awesome. Now, where's... oh, here's 3PO. I guess that's it about my droids. I'll really hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you later guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.